so hello friends welcome back to the channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to install realme y 2.0 from a custom recovery and you can use this method if you are in realme y 1.0 or 2.0 based custom rom so all you need is just a custom recovery and talking about the needed files let me show you so here I created a folder called realme 2.0 so that I show you easily. In the folder you can see 4 files. So these 4 files are needed to install the realme 2.0 and if you don't want root and don't want any custom recovery installed, you want full stock experience, then you don't need these 2 files. This one is for TWRP custom recovery based on realme 2.0 and the C12 mice patched boot image. But I'm going to flash that because I need root access and recovery access. So let's get to the installation. So the first step of this installation is to remove the screen lock. And you can see I'm in Corvus OS. You can see. And if you did not watch the Corvus OS review, then you can click here to watch the Corvus OS review. Now let's remove the screen lock. And one thing I forgot to talk about, you will not have access to the recovery if you are in Realme 2.0 based ROM or Android 12 ROM. So I have the SD card here or you can use a pen drive and keep the files there. So at first let's reboot into recovery and I have advanced reboot here. So you can see the phone is booting into custom recovery and it's booted and let me increase the brightness first. I hope now you can see clearly. Now at first go to install, select the storage and as you can see I have all the files here. So first of all if you are in F2FS ROM then just change the data and cache to ext4 otherwise it will be failed to flash so let's just change it. And you can also check whether it is on ext4 or F2FS. Here you can see. So this is on F2FS. I will change it to ext4. And before doing this, make sure you have backup of all your data. In case if you need that data, make sure to backup. So this will just format the data. After that, go back. Now select cache and change file system to ext4. Now do one thing. Just reboot to recovery. Now after that, go to install again select the storage go to the folder and just flash the ozip you can see the flashing is started now let's wait for it so you can see here the ozip flashing is successful now after that go to the folder again and now if you don't want root or custom recovery then just flash the disabled view meter then reboot to recovery and format then you are now i need custom recovery and root so i will just flash the twrp image as recovery then i will just flash the disabled view meter as view meter and make sure that the recovery that you are using have the view meter partition otherwise the installation will be failed and your device may be in boot loop. Now after selecting the 4kb vmeter file, just tick the vmeter and flash and after that I will just flash the boot image after clicking boot and just flash it. Now after that what you need to do, go to reboot and reboot into recovery. Now after rebooting to recovery, go to wipe and go to format data and type yes, hit enter. Now just click on reboot system and now the realme UI should boot. So you can see the realme logo appears. That means our installation was successful. And in this stage if your device boots into recovery just go to wipe and do format data then again reboot it will reboot successfully. Now it may take some time because the device is formatted so you can see here the setup screen appeared after around 5 minutes now i will just set up this rom and use it like normal so this is it for this video if you found this video helpful make sure to do subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon i will see you in the next video bye bye